That's going to be in the video. What's going on guys, DigiDestin here, back again with another pickup video for you. Uh, this one's exciting because it's part 2 of the JJ special. So, a few videos ago, I actually showcased a package that I got from my buddy Notorious JJ. And in short, uh, the story is his brother-in-law found his old collection of video games, uh, didn't want them anymore, and pawned them off to JJ. JJ actually was a kind enough guy, offered them to me, and I decided to buy them all. Unfortunately, he actually forgot to send some of the stuff, and so, uh, you know, a couple weeks later, now, uh, he packaged it up and finally got it to me. So I, it arrived, and I'm going to be able to showcase exactly what the rest of the collection was. On top of that, we were able to find some other cool stuff from the thrift stores, some from Valley Villages, as well as some retail finds. And so I'll start off with that, the retail finds. Um, if you like toys, I like toys, uh, not just video games, but uh, I'm really big into Transformers. I used to be a really big collector, not a really big collector, but just um, a collector of Transformer toys. And this is the Power of the Primes Optimus. It's it's a bit newer. Uh, it's, it's a leader class, so it's pretty big. It's about $45 retail. It's pretty awesome. It's about the size of a masterpiece, if you know what that is. Uh, but I'm not going to talk too much about it. I just really enjoy it. I like the look of it. Um, it's very cool. And this is actually my first Optimus Prime that I've bought since probably 1998. Moving on to some thrift store finds. Uh, some pretty cool ones actually. Some more obscure things, not necessarily video games, but video game related. So the first thing I want to show you are a couple books, surprisingly. Uh, first one, you've probably seen on this before. This is the second copy that I found. Um, this is How to Draw Nintendo Heroes and Villains, which is pretty cool. Um, this is a Scholastic book, so this is probably sold in like local book fairs at elementary schools. And essentially, it just walks you through on how to draw your favorite Nintendo characters. Princess Toadstool, we got Wario, we got Donkey Kong. Pretty cool. Found this at Valley Village, it was four bucks. It was, it's a little pricey for a book of this size, but I figured it was worth it. Uh, on top of that, we also found another one, but it's How to Draw the Legend of Zelda, which is even better. This one I do not have yet, uh, so we're excited about that. Learn how to draw Link. You can draw Ganondorf. And uh, just from the artwork, you can probably tell this is more along the lines of the Ocarina of Time era, so like around 1997, 1998. Pretty cool, but excited about this. This was $4 as well. Uh, awesome find uh, from that value village. We have one more find from that Valley Village, which is pretty cool. Um, it's a handheld, and it's a Tiger Electronics handheld. Um, just a cool little LCD screen. This one's 101 Dalmatians. We don't have this one yet. Uh, it was $1.99. We're going to add it to our collection. Uh, normally, these ones are missing the battery covers a lot, but this one came with the battery cover, which is nice. Uh, I haven't tested it. These batteries in here are kind of old. Uh, I'm going to switch out the batteries and test them out pretty soon here. Alright, the next Value Village find was actually found at a different Value Village, but this one's a little bit more exciting. Uh, it's a promo item, so it's it's a piece of Nintendo memorabilia, but you couldn't find it in stores. And so, came in this bag here. It's a GameCube and a Game Boy Advance. But you're probably wondering why this GameCube is so small. Uh, on top of that, we got for 3 bucks. Um, this one was spotted by my fiance. This is pretty cool. Uh, it's just hanging there, and uh, this bag's already kind of open. But if you pull it out, you notice something kind of odd about it. it. Almost looks like a knockoff. The funny thing is, it's a stress ball. Look at that. It's completely soft, all the way around. It's even got a Game Boy Advance cartridge in it. It's soft. It's pretty cool. Um, same thing with the GameCube. So if we were to open this up. It's the GameCube. It's got the ports on the back, even the, the one for the component cable. <laughs> Look on the bottom, there's the slots for like the, the network adapter, the Game Boy Advance player. It's even got the vents on the side for the fans. And this one's squishy too. So, <clears throat> pretty cool. These were actually, uh, we came to find out that these were actually uh, E3 from 2001. These came from E3 as promotional items. Um, I have no idea 
about the backstory of these. Other than that, um, if you guys do know about where these came from or how people ended up getting them, uh, you can leave a comment down below and, and let me know and inform me. I'd love to learn about these. Um, but either way, you know, three bucks for two stress <laughs> relieving uh, GameCube and uh, Game Boy Advances. Uh, it's pretty cool. I, I like these ones a lot. All right, we got one more retail find. I actually forgot to, to mention it. This one came from Target. Uh, it's it's a new game. It's a new game. Uh, it's Kirby Star Allies for Nintendo Switch. I'm very excited about this one. Uh, this one I demoed at Emerald City Comic Con, which is a Comic Con that's somewhat local to me. Um, it's a classic Kirby platformer. It's extremely, extremely fun. Uh, I have... I, ha I had a lot of fun with it. I haven't played this one yet, but the demo was, was fantastic. Um, I'd like to say it's kind of a, a reimagining or a modernization of um, Kirby 64 and the Crystal Shards. So you have the opportunity to not only combine abilities, but you can actually take those enemies and befriend them and add them to your party and so they can help you throughout your journey, throughout your levels. Um, and it's multiplayer too, so you can play up to four players. Uh, it's a lot of fun, especially multiplayer, you know, but it's... I'm really excited about this game. There hasn't been a Kirby game that's come out uh, in, in the last decade or so that I haven't been super, super excited for. Just because Kirby games tend to be a little bit simpler, a little bit easier, and the content itself, uh, I would say, is somewhat lacking, even though it's one of my favorite franchises. Um, my favorite Nintendo character, I should say. Um, but this one, when this one debuted, when this one came out, when I gave it a try, uh, I was super pumped for it. And from what I've heard, it's got an incredible amount of content and is well worth the retail price of $60. Um, the cool thing is, I got this from Target, but it was supposed to come with a bag, like a drawstring bag, but they didn't have any of the promo items. Uh, they probably didn't get their shipment. A lot of Target Targets didn't, uh, which is unfortunate, but I'm pretty sure they're, they're going to have it on sale later on. Um, I'll probably pick that up later too. I don't know, but this is the most important part. I'm going to turn on my Switch and give this a try, and hopefully it's as good as everyone says it is, um, especially from my own first impression. I hope it's as good as I think it is. All right, now we're moving on to the JJ Special Part 2. Uh, this box next to me is what it came in. It was an 11-pound box. It's pretty heavy. It's pretty cool. I packed it very well. came with Albertson's... Uh, garbage bags or grocery bags um but yeah it's pretty cool uh first thing i want to show you i've already unboxed this i box this unbox this on stream kind of a random freebie here uh we got fallout the original fallout and fallout 2 on pc it's a little double pack i've never played it and i don't even know if my pc can run it because i don't have uh, a cd drive but um this is cool nonetheless because uh, there's so many, so many Fallout fans out there. Um, it's kind of nice to have a game that everyone loves, you know. Um, other than that, we're going to move on to some of the more uh, ideal items in terms of my collecting. Uh, Nintendo stuff. We have a Nintendo 64 here. It's got the third-party expansion pack. It's in pretty good shape. It's a little dirty just because it's been, hasn't been used uh, in quite some time. Um, but... You know, I think this one might be in better shape than my current one, my current uh, daily use. And so this one might be a replacement if that one ends up dying. So um, just standard N64, nothing special about it. The N64 came with all the cords, of course. The AV cords, the power cord, somewhere else in here. It came with four controllers. So um, it came with one third-party controller, third-party gray one. Um, the quality of themselves of these third-party controllers aren't as great, um, but the cool thing is it came with three first-party controllers. We have a gray one, a blue one, and a green one, and all the sticks are actually in, in pretty good shape, considering uh, one or two of the games that are actually uh, in this package. <clears throat> and like I just spoiled, there are a few games, uh, so I'm excited to go through that with you uh, right now. So it came with this bag of games. Uh, I've already opened it, I've gone through it, and uh, it was packaged much better than this, so don't worry about that. Uh, first game, I should go in no particular order. We have Star Wars Shadows of the Empire. And this came from Book Off, which is pretty cool. Uh, it's a nice little used media franchise. 
uh, to chain store. Uh, it's not in the area where I am, but uh, apparently it is where where these games came from. I only know it from Japan. Book off that company. I only know it from Japan. Um, so if they could bring one over here, you know where I'm at, I'd greatly appreciate it. WWF Warzone. Awesome game. I had a lot of fun playing a lot of these wrestling games with my cousins back in the day during Christmas. You have your classic multiplayer first person shooter. You have 007. The labels on these, you know, they're they're well used, well loved. But this one's a little bit faded. Jet Force Gemini. We have our Marines. Rock 2. Seas of Evil. Command and Conquer. The very first N64 game I've ever played. Wave Race 64. Star Wars Rogue Squadron. 007, The World Is Not Enough. And this one is actually a gray cart variant. Normally this comes in a blue cart, um, but this one is in a gray one, obviously. And there's probably a number of other carts that do have gray cart variants. I think Hydro Thunder is one of them. That one normally comes in a blue cart. Um, Army Men 2, Sarge's Heroes, that normally comes in a green cart. And that's in That comes in a, a gray one as well. But there's a whole number of uh car colored cards that come in gray as well and that's like an entirely different collecting niche pokemon stadium the very first brand new game uh, n64 game that i ever purchased we have a uh, hexen mario tennis probably one of my favorite competitive n64 titles especially for four player we have mario party one and two look at that like I mentioned before, these games uh, do need to be clean. They do need to be tested. Hopefully they work. Looks like Mario Party 1 was well loved. We have The Legend of Zelda, Majora's Mask, as well as The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. You can't have one without the other. And then last but not least, we have a very classic Super Smash Bros. Melee. That was all of the N64 games. Uh, nice little collection here. Great package, great surprise. Once again, we have to give a big shout out to our boy, Notorious JJ. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Uh, you should go check out his YouTube channel. He's got a great channel. He's got a lot of cool gameplay on there, as well as highlights. Um, you should also check out his Twitch. He's an excellent streamer, very funny dude. Uh, everything, all the links are gonna be in the description below, so go check him out. Again, thank you, JJ. I appreciate it so much for giving me the opportunity to buy all these great games from you. And, uh, and yeah, it's been a great week of pickups, super excited. Now I just had to find a place for all this stuff. Uh, if you did like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, please check out some of my other videos. I got other pickups, tips and tricks, gameplay, as well as streams. And with that being said, we'll see you guys on the next one.